God's ways and thoughts are higher than our ways and thoughts. Very good morning, friends. Isaac was old enough that he could not able to see clearly. So he said to elder son, Esau, Son, I do not know the day of my death. Go out to the field and take game, make a sorry food, and bring it to me. I will eat and bless you. Rebecca overheard what Isaac told Esau. Rebecca loved Jacob and asked him to bring two goats from the flocks, and she made a wonderful, delicious meal that father loved, and asked Jacob to pretend as the elder son. Jacob obeyed the voice of his mother and went to Isaac and received the blessing of the firstborn. Friends, Isaac intended to bless Esau, but Jacob received the blessing of the firstborn. As far as the heavens are higher than the earth, the Lord's ways and thoughts are much higher than our ways and thoughts. Let's yield to him. His ways and thoughts are higher than our ways and thoughts. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Blessings of the Lord never runs dry. Very good morning, friends. Now, Esau returns back from hunting and makes a savory food and brings it to the father, Isaac. Isaac gets the shock of his life and he trembled exceedingly saying, where is the one who brought me food and received the blessing? Now they both realized that it was Jacob who deceived and received the blessing of the firstborn. Esau cried out bitterly, asking Isaac, Father, bless me. Do you have any blessing left for me? Isaac replied, I have blessed them and indeed he shall be blessed. Isa cried out continuously asking, Do you have one blessing left for me? And Isaac blessed Isa by saying, By your sword, you will live. Friends, friends. Isaac blessed Isa. The Lord's blessing never runs out. If we cry out to him, he will surely bless us. His blessings never run out. Have a blessed day, friends. Bye-bye. Run to the throne of grace. Very good morning, friends. Jacob deceived Esau and received the blessing of the firstborn from his father, Isaac. Esau hated Jacob because of this. He decided to kill him after the death of his father, Isaac. Somehow, Rebekah got this news and she asked Jacob to run for his life and flee to his uncle's house for safety. Friends, what do we do when we commit a mistake? When we done something wrong, where do we run to? The Bible tells us, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The Bible also gives us a solution. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Friends, let's run to the throne of grace. Ask God to forgive us and give us mercy and grace so that we will be helped in time of need. Run to the throne of grace. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Why live? Very good morning, friends. Rebecca asked this question to Isaac. Why live? I'm sick to death because of the Hittite woman, the daughter-in-law whom Esau married. What if Jacob takes a wife from this land? And what good it brings to us? Why live? Friends, at some point in our lives, we would have asked this question. Why live? When life throws junk at us, when we face challenges, failures, rejections, we naturally tend to ask this question, why live? But God has an answer to this. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and future. Friends, we live to fulfill God's plan and purpose in our lives. We live to glorify God. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Whose footsteps do we follow? Very good morning, friends. Isaac and Rebekah were so displeased with their daughter-in-laws, whom Esau married from the land of Canaan. So Isaac charged Jacob, saying, Do not take a wife from this land. Go to your mother's father's house and take a wife from the daughters of your mother's brother, Laban. Isaac followed the footsteps of his father, Abraham, who sent Eliezer, his servant, 
to find a wife for his son Isaac from his own family. Yes, friends, whose footsteps do we follow? Paul says, follow my steps as I follow the steps of Christ. Peter says, Christ suffered for you, leaving a model for you to follow his steps closely. His friends, Jesus was a perfect example and a role model for us to follow. Let's follow him. Let's follow his footsteps. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Blessings. Very good morning, friends. Isaac called Jacob and charged him, saying, Do not take a wife from the land of Canaan. Go to your mother's father's house and take a wife from the daughters of your mother's brother, Laban. And Isaac blessed Jacob. Genesis chapter 28, verse 3 and 4. May God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you, that you may be an assembly of peoples and give you the blessing of Abraham to you and your descendants with you, that you may inherit the land in which you are a stranger, which God gave to Abraham. Friends, may you and I receive the blessings of Jacob today. May God bless us, make us fruitful and multiply us so that we will become an assembly of people and we will inherit the land in which we were a stranger. May God's blessing be upon you and I. Have a blessed day. Receive the blessings. Bye-bye. Bad example. Very good morning, friends. Esau saw that his father Isaac had blessed Jacob and charged him saying, do not take a wife from the land of Canaan. Esau also realized that his wives that he took from the land of Canaan did not please his father Isaac. So Esau went around and he took one of the daughters of Ishmael as his wife. He married again. Esau did not treasure himself as a child of God, as a child of promise or child of covenant. Rather, he treasured himself in fulfilling the worldly pleasures. The writer of Hebrew set him as a bad example. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 16 it says let no one be sexually immoral or unholy like Esau. Esau set us a bad example. Friends let's not be like Esau. Let's flee from evil and be a child of God. Have a blessed day. Bye bye. Jacob's later. Very good morning friends. Jacob obeyed the voice of his father Isaac and he started his journey from Beersheba to Haran where his grandparents lived. On the way, he stopped at a certain place because the sun had set and it was dark. He took a stone, put it under his head and slept. There he had a dream. He saw a leader whose feet was set on the earth and the top reached to the heavens. And he saw angels ascending and descending over the leader and the Lord God was on the top. Friends, the leader was a connecting point between earth and the heaven between us and God. Jesus said to Nathaniel, you will see the heavens open and you will see angels ascending and descending on the Son of Man. And the Son of Man is the leader. Jesus Christ is the leader. He is the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus. Friends, let's hold on to the leader, Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.